Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? I hope it's a great day wherever you are, guys. Hope it's a wonderful day wherever you are, because right now here, we are preparing for that um, Hurricane Laura that's supposed to hit tonight sometime after uh, midnight. So the rain, it's already cloudy here, rain. We had some rain overnight and it's all gonna be just rainy and cloudy throughout this day, preparing for Hurricane Laura. Good news last night to look, it shifted away a little bit from where I live, other parts of Houston and uh, the coastline gonna still get hit. Good morning, Tessa Hunt, good morning. Just telling everyone now uh, here, we're preparing for Hurricane Laura to hit sometime tonight here. So everything today is just a little rainy and overcast. And so by eight o'clock tonight, the mayor want everyone off the streets. You want the streets clear, because the wind is starting to pick up. But anyhow, it turned away from where I kind of live. So it might reaching where I live to um, tropical storm strength. It was a tropical three up the, um, uh, category three up to last night. Good morning, Renita. Good morning. It's category three up to last night, but it might reach in my area at a tropical storm wind. So we're preparing for preparing for it. Depends on how things go. If we lose power or how, don't know what is going to happen tonight. I might decide if I can be on on Friday or not, but I'll try my best to still do what I need to do. So so that's what we're preparing. So it's look nice. It's cloudy in the background. That's because Hurricane Laura is lurking on the horizon for hit tonight. But anyhow, the hurricane got to do what it got to do and I got to do what I got to do. So we'll jump right into it today. We'll jump right into it today. Today we want to talk about making hasty decisions, about making hasty decisions or coming to um, hasty conclusions, right? So we want to make sure we get all the facts before we make making decisions, especially big decisions that got a big impact on our lives. We want to make sure we get all the facts that we can get, ask the right questions before making that decisions. Because hasty decisions most times end up in regret. Most times end up in regret if you don't have all the full, um, the full facts, right? So here we're, let's see what um, the Bible have to say about this. In Proverbs 18, 13, it said, If anyone gives an answer before he hears, it's his folly and shame. If anyone gives an answer before he hears, it's his folly and shame. He said, that is on you. The folly is like that foolishness and shame. It's on you, right? Our, our next translation would put that same scripture. It said, the answer before listening that is folly and shame. To answer before listening, that is folly and shame, right? And Proverbs 22, 3, Proverbs 22, 3 says, A prudent or a wise person foresees danger and takes precautions. A prudent or a wise person foresees danger and takes precautions, but the simple one or the foolish one goes blindly on and suffer the consequence. The simpler the foolish one goes blindly on and suffer the consequences. So we're saying a prudent person or a wise person, before they make the decision, let's say they're going to buy a car, and this car might cost must normally sixty, seventy thousand dollars, and you see someone for sale um, five thousand dollars to sell this car for, but you gotta buy it now. You never come into those people, oh this is a great deal, but you have to get it within the next hour. After the next hour, the deal is not there. No, you no 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 no. Mr. Ralph James, thank you for watching. Anyone trying to rush you to make a judgment like that to try not to um, to give you time to do your research and see if that that thing is a good investment for you so you might see the, the car might be selling for five thousand dollars normally a fifty sixty thousand dollars car you might say wow this is a good this is a good deal it looks good but what is Bible saying? The scripture saying the prudent person, the wise person. Now they're gonna ask, give me the car facts. Tell me some, give me some history about this car. You know why would a fifty thousand dollars car be selling for five thousand dollars? They need some more um, information, right? They want, and then you might find out the car is in a flood, and everything was just flooded. Insurance done total the car, whatever the case may be, and that car may drive up the street, drive two, three miles, and then break down on you, and you invest five thousand or ten thousand dollars, and then get no return in it. But he's saying the foolish person or the simple one as they put it would just take things at face value 
Oh, this is a Mercedes-Benz, $5,000. I always want a mercedes -Benz. They ask them no questions. They just jump in right ahead because they just want to do it. They want to do it. And that's what Proverbs 18, 13 was saying. If you give an answer before listening, hear all the facts. Find out everything you need to know before you just jump and make that hasty decision, right? So that's what it's saying. Get some more information. There's a story about a king who was trying to teach his four sons about making rash judgments because you know they can take over the kingdom at one point in time and you as a leader got to make you can't make rash judgments right because you um the decisions you make it's affect a lot of people right so um so here what he did so he was teaching his four sons to make um not to make rash judgments so he's told the oldest son he said go go in the winter time and look at this mango tree Go in the winter time and look at this mango tree, right? And then he tell the next one, go in spring. Go in spring and look at the same tree. Go in the springtime and look at the same tree. The third one he tell, go in the summer and look at the tree. And the fourth one he tell him, go in the, the fall and look at the same tree, right? Go in the fall. So each one of them went and looked at the tree in different seasons, right? So after the last son has returned from his fall visit, the king called them together and, and asked them to describe what they had observed. He asked them to describe what they had observed, right? So the first, um, the first son, the oldest one who went in the winter time, he said, dad, this looks like a burnt old stump. The tree looked like a burnt old stump. And the second one who went in the springtime, he said, what did you observe? He said, it, it's a lacy green. The tree is a lacy green. That's the springtime, right? Everything's springing back to life. So everything looked turning back green. The one who went in the summer, he described it as a beautiful rose. It's a beautiful rose. You know, the blossoms start to come out back, all the flowers and the blossoms. So everything looking like a nice, beautiful rose. And the youngest one said, he said, no, no, no. It fruits is like a pear. So now in the fall time, it's bearing fruits now. And it's like a pear, right? So you see, all of them went in different seasons. And they described the same tree differently, right? Because the tree looked different in, all dif in the different seasons, right? So the king said, you are all right. For each of you saw the tree in different seasons. So now the lesson here is obvious, right? It's when you take time to understand, get the facts, learn the background. Because you might lose out on a good deal because you see that thing that you're going to, you want to invest in. It might be in this, in this um, winter stage where it looked like a burnt old stump. But if you don't find out, you might say, oh, I don't, that looks so, that's not good. Look how it looks. But you don't know a few months from then that would be bearing some really nice fruit, right? So that's why you need to ask the questions, get the facts. Don't make the decisions based on, 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 on the winter, how it look in the winter. Or don't base the decisions how it make, you might make an um, investment that is not so good because you just base the decisions based on how it look in the fall time when it have the big fruits and not knowing in another two, three months, it'd be looking like a burnt old stump. So, so you got to, Get the information, do your research, do your research before making um, any big decisions. And for the believers, you just take it to God. If you're not sure which way to go, take it to him and ask him to help you to make the decisions. But just don't make hasty decisions based on face value, how something look. You know the old saying, it's... Um, if it looks too good to be true, maybe it is. Same thing goes with relationships. Same thing, just don't look at the person and see they look nice and beautiful outside. See them in all their seasons. See them in all their seasons before you make that decision to be with them, to marry or whatever. Use this principle in every decisions you have to make in your life, right? Because just like there's three, People might have different seasons. You want to see how the person react when they're upset. Don't just look at them because you've seen them at the job nice and fancy. You want to see how, how they are as well living in the home. You want to see them in their different seasons and before you make the decision so you know exactly what you're getting into, right? Great big purchases. Do your homework. Find out everything you need to know about that thing that you're going to invest your time and money in, guys. So that's it in a nutshell today. Don't make hasty decisions. Get the information you need and feel comfortable about the decision you're making. And remember Proverbs 22, 3 said a prudent or a wise person foresees danger and takes precautions. They see the danger. They say, oh, I know what's going to happen. Don't worry what it's looking like now. 
down the road it's going to be problems two three four five years from now it might be some problems so i'm not going to go into that but a foolish or simple person just make the decisions based on what he sees in front of them at the present time so guys just think about that as you go for the rest of the week and we'll talk again on friday just pray for us that this hurricane don't do minimum damage and the city can still be standing good to go on the rest of the week all right guys I'll talk to you guys on friday have a great great wednesday bye